Hey Pisces, welcome to your reading for the beginning of March 1st through the 15th, 2018. Yeah, let's get into it. What have we got for you? Pisces, Pisces, Pisces. Spirit, please make me a clear channel for Pisces, Sun, Moon, and Rising. Please bring us the best messages for Pisces for the first half of their month, March 1st through to the 15th, 2018. What's going on for Pisces during this time period? Pisces. One more shuffle. Okay. And let's cut the deck here for you, Pisces. What have we got for you? Okay. Oh, your overall energy is the King of Cups. So Pisces, you're showing up here in some cases. Yeah? Okay. Coupled with the Four of Cups and the Nine of Pentacles. And under that, we have the Emperor. All right, so let's talk about this. This is your overall energy for the first half of the month here. Um, I do feel like Pisces, if this, if this King of Cups is not you, now I say you're showing up because, um, King of Cups is water, right? If it's not you, maybe it's another, uh, water sign or someone else that, um, you see as, or, em or, or embodies the energy of the King of Cups, right? Uh, very emotionally stable, very compassionate and caring, a very good leader, um, and a good leader in a compassionate way. Um, but here, what, what I'm seeing with this combination of the Four of Cups and the Nine of Pentacles, some of you may be trying to make an offer, say, towards a King of Cups. Um, and I feel like this person is very independent with the Nine of Pentacles. Um, but uh, there could be like a maybe an offer of love you're trying to make. Or maybe someone's trying to make you an offer. Either way, I don't really think this offer is being accepted. None, uh, coupled with the, with the emperor energy that's underneath the deck as a whole, um, someone's trying to take control of their life here. Um, and I feel like if there is an, uh, and, and they're trying to maintain their independence that is depicted in the nine of pentacles here. But what I'm feeling like is the reason why this offer may not be accepted for what I, is because there's some sense of something not being right with it. So if this is you, Pisces, Someone is trying to offer you something, but you're picking up intuitively that something's not right here. And you're kind of feeling like if you were to accept this offer, um, it could upset your sense of independence in some way. Or if this is not you, maybe this is what the other person is feeling or the other, the other end of the situation is feeling um, towards you. Um, that could be the case. Whether that may be true or not, I don't know. I'm not really picking up on that right now. I'm just picking up on the energy of that could be what's going on here. That could be surrounding why this offer is not being accepted, okay? Moving forward with your story, we have the nine, of, I'm sorry, the seven of swords and the seven of pentacles. Very interesting, right? Wow, two sevens. So that's an interesting combination. But to me, this is speaking to exactly what I was just saying about how something doesn't feel right. Like you feel like if you were to take this offer, you could be cheated in some way. Like someone, they could get away with something. They could get over on you or something. And I feel like that has to do a lot with your past. Because the Seven of Pentacles is talking about taking stock of something, you know, just kind of just kind of resting on something and not really moving forward with it or not being able to move forward with it, with it because it's in some sort of gestation. Um, but here in this situation, I feel like your past in being taken advantage of, being hurt, um, 
I do feel like Pisces does have a, have a, a little more of a, a, a greater propensity towards being taken advantage of than some of the other signs. Um, and I feel like that's what's happening here. You're, you're looking back on the past um, and you're not really taking this offer because of the ways that you've been taken advantage of in the past. Again, I'm not saying that's exactly what's going to happen here because the King of Cups to me is not somebody that would do that to you. Um, but again, understand this is a general message. So please take what resonates with you and, and, and does it. If you know that this person active, actively would take advantage of you, if your intuitive guidance is strong enough in saying to you, no, 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 this person is going to take advantage of you. This person is going to hurt you in some way. By all means, follow that guidance. But that I'm, I'm also picking up that that's not necessarily all of the case here, okay? There could be some situations where this is just... Um, paranoia in a sense, but that's due to your past experience. So I'm not trying to invalidate that at all, okay? Moving forward with your story, we also have the Four of Swords and we have the Eight of Pentacles. Okay, so the Four of Swords to me is is um, speaking directly to the Four of Cups. The In some cases, the offer is being flat out rejected, but in other cases, you're you're sitting back, you're not really responding to the offer yet. You're trying to figure things out. You're taking a mental break and you're doing some physical work. Okay. You're, I see that the eight of pentacles is like the, the, not the emperor, the, um, the apprentice, uh, that's really honing their skills, really, really learning something new. Um, and this, what's, what I'm hearing here, what I'm, what I'm picking up on here is you're, you're taking a step back to learn something in this situation. You are taking a step back to look back on your past. Again, look back on what you have learned in the past so that you can apply it to this situation moving forward, okay? Moving on, we have the sun. Yeah, and the knight of pentacles. Yeah. So look, and for some of you, the situation really is not as bad as it seems. And this person that is coming forward to you to make this offer for you is actually way more stable than you think. And um, the Knight of Pentacles is uh, the slowest moving knight in the whole deck. The Knight of Pentacles is very methodical. He plans every inch of every detail that he, he possibly can. So coupled with the sun, this is telling me that whoever, whatever offer is coming at you, if you're hesitant to take it because you're afraid that it's going to upset your sense of independence and, and your own personal stability, understand that this person actually does embody a Knight of Pentacles sense to them. So they're way more grounded and practical than you think or may be aware of. In some cases, now Pisces, you're very intuitive. So I can't imagine that you wouldn't pick up on this already. But in some cases, this may be a brand new person, someone that you really don't know much about. Um, so you don't necessarily know if you can trust what your intuition is saying about the stability of this person. But understand that they are way more stable, stable than you think. Okay. Um, trying to see if there's anything else with that. I felt like there was. I don't think so. Let's move on. Fin uh, finally, in this row, we have the Six of Cups, which is beautiful. The Six of Cups is talking of nostalgia. It could also talk to a soulmate. Maybe, maybe Pisces, you're so afraid of accepting this offer because you, you feel how strong this connection is with this person. And you really, of all people, to get hurt, the last type of person you want to get hurt from is a soulmate, <laughs> right? Um, but also coupled with that, we have the Six of Pentacles. You're afraid of um, give and take. You're afraid of being taken advantage of. But understand that this person that is coming forward to you if this is resonating with you, this person is a soulmate and they're not looking to take advantage of you. They want this reciprocity. They want this balance between give and take. They are coming forward towards you because they know that they can achieve or they can receive this balance of give and take. Maybe they have been in a situation in the past where they gave too much and got nothing in return or got taken advantage of. But now that they're connecting with you and they're feeling this connection with you, and you're like, well, wait a second. I won't experience that with this person, right? Which leads to um, the validation of just how stable they are, how much this is a real thing. This is not a fluke. I'm picking up that this is real. 
This is a real good connection here. Don't be afraid of it. Moving on on your story, we have the Hierophant. All right, so we've got a lot of earth energy here. You could be dealing with an earth sign. Taurus, Cancer, I'm sorry, Taurus, uh, Virgo, uh, uh, Capricorn. You could also be dealing with a fire sign, maybe a Leo. The Leo, the sun is, depicts a Leo. Um, but also there could, this, there could very well be a Taurus specifically here because the Hierophant is the Taurus card. Okay. And if it is a Taurus, man, that, that person is stable. Even if it is an earth sign, if it's a Taurus, that person is stable. And to be honest, Taurus and Pisces actually do quite well with each other in a romantic sense, even in a friendship sense. But if this is a romantic relationship and there's a Taurus coming at you with a look, listen here, I'm going to speak, I'm going to speak on behalf of the Taurus collective because I am a Taurus sun sign. And if I'm coming at you with an offer I mean what I say, and I have every intention of following through with what I'm telling you. I am not going to tell you one thing, 1111. I'm not going to tell you one thing and then turn around and be like, oops, no, never mind. I don't want to do that anymore. Uh uh. Okay. As a Taurus, I am a man of my word. And if I'm telling you something, it's truth. And I have every intention of following through with it. All right. So be rest assured, if a Taurus is coming at you with some sort of uh, offer, whether it be a romantic offer, a business offer, whatever, have faith and know that they mean, their, they mean what they say. They have every intention of following through with this, and they are not going to, they're going to do their best not to let you down, all right? Coupled with the Hierophant, we have the Page of Swords. This... Um, This is a spiritual connection here. There could be marriage involved here. Like you could be, um, I mean, the Hierophant speaks of spirituality, speaks of convention. It also can speak of uh, domestication, the institution of marriage, institutions as a whole. And when I picked this card, when I pulled this card, the first thing I thought of was a marriage. So I feel like some of you are picking up on vibes of, oh God, I could marry this person. Whoa, 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 I could marry this person. Alarms, red flags, whoa, whoa. And so now you're embodying the knight of, I'm sorry, the page of swords energy in order to figure things out. Get down to the nitty gritty, the bottom of the situation. Well, who is this person really? Like, is my heart just running away with it, with itself? Or like, is it telling me something real here? Mm. This is intense, Pisces. Wow, moving forward. The Hanging Man, absolutely, with, oh, the Queen of Cups. Here you are again, Pisces. So now we've got the counterparts here. We've got the King and the Queen. Please understand that this has nothing to do with gender, all right? This is all energy. This also could be um, a, a, a water sign female. It could be. And just like the King could be a water sign male. But also, it could be a, a man embodying the Queen of Cups energy, nurturing, intuitive, uh, emotional, stable, but emotional, uh, loving, caring, compassionate. Um, and let me tell you, if we're going back to the, like, there, if there's a Taurus coming at you, Taurans tend to be very loving and compassionate. Taurans often can embody the Queen of Cups uh energy especially especially if like this is a situation where they feel they're feeling the same way like they could marry you they could very well be embodying both the king and the queen of cups energy and what's going on here is there's a hanging man situation where um uh perspective is being gained enlightenment is being gained especially if you are in the in the mode of the seven of pentacles with the seven of swords energy taking stock of and understanding in the past how you've been taken advantage of. Here in The Hanging Man, um, you could be Pisces, you could be standing in the Queen of Cups energy within the house of The Hanging Man energy and just being like, oh, do I wanna move forward with this? And if I do wanna move forward with this, how do I do so without getting hurt again? Mm-hmm. Absolutely, Pisces. Okay, moving on with the story, we have Six of Wands, victory. 
Ah, oh, I love to see that. Especially under the sun with the Knight of Pentacles, victory. Victory, I love that. With the Ace of Wands. At some point, Pisces, you may move forward with this. You may, you may understand, you may come to the under, understanding that this is not as negative a situation. You don't have to be so guarded in this situation. And a fire is going to be lit under you. And you're going to, you're going to move forward. There could be some very passionate, passionate, passionate love here. A strong sexual connection too. And if you're going to have a strong relation, a romantic relationship with someone, especially if it's a Taurus, the sex has to be on point. Sorry, I'm just going to throw that out there. <laughs> I'm sorry. And as a Taurus, man, I can attest to that. I was in a relationship for quite a few years and the sex just wasn't on par, but I really loved him. So I stayed with him, but that was always a problem for me. But what I'm picking up here is that's not going to be a problem for y'all. Mm -hmm. Better get it, honey. <laughs> but other than that, there is victory here. There is passion here. There is a brand new start on the horizon here for whatever this situation is for you, Pisces, okay? Finally, in your story, we have the Five of Cups with the King of Wands. All right, I'm picking up here in this particular situation, maybe some of you Pisces were in a relationship with a fire sign in the past, or um, you were in a relationship with someone who was just very fiery, very passionate, um, and it, and it, and it, Maybe it didn't end well, or it just ended in general, and that left you um, in sort of a Five of Cups energy, which is helping influence your hesitation with this situation here. Um, also, though, I am seeing some of you are in relation to like what we just said here with the Six of Wands and the Ace of Wands, this brand new passionate start. Some of you actually may come out. I mean, you have before this person came to you and started you know, uh, making this offer for you or towards you, you were actively in a five of cups situation. You had been taken advantage of, you had been cheated and, um, you know, slide and whatever. And so slide it is what I said and whatever. And so, um, but now after going through all of this, after going through this story here, this progression of the story, you're now coming to the realization of what you could potentially have with this person, it's lighting a fire under you and you're stepping out of the Five of Cups energy with the help of the King of Wands energy. Stable, um, passionate, fiery, uh, charismatic, the life of the party. Um, and I know that's not always your thing, Pisces, being the life of the party. That does, that does feel like a little out of place for you. But in your own way, you're coming out of this Five of Cups energy with some real serious passion to move forward with your life and to take control of your life with the Emperor here. All right, Pisces. So there it is. That's the first half of your month. Um, I hope that was helpful. And I will see you guys for the second half of March. Take care. Bye.